Hi there, in this video we'll be reviewing charging your system, attaching and removing the stand, deleting and replacing a sensor, identifying and silencing an alarm, the drop trailer feature, and waking your system. There are a few different ways to charge your system. One way is to simply turn on your system. Plug in the charging cord located on the side of the monitor. Now you will see the battery symbol begin to charge, indicating that your monitor is now charging. Please know that when your system is charging, you will not be able to turn off the monitor. The monitor will continue to be charged as long as it is plugged in. If you turned off your monitor while charging, simply unplug the power cord and the monitor will turn off. Another way is while the monitor is turned off, simply plug in the charging cord, the monitor will turn on and then begin to charge. First, we will attach the stand. On the back of the monitor, you will notice a small tab. You'll need to remember this tab for later to remove the stand. In an upwards motion, click the stand into place on the back of the monitor. Once you hear the stand click into place, it is now secure. You can now mount it to your windshield. The easiest way to detach the stand is to remove it from your windshield, unscrew the large bolt located at the top of the mount until the top portion comes free. Now we have a smaller piece that is easier to handle. Do not try and remove the stand by force. The small tab will prevent you from doing so. Using a small tool or a screwdriver, press the tab down and push the stand down at the same time. It will then click and come free. To delete a sensor, simply turn on the system. From running mode, press and hold code until the system beeps once. Using the plus and minus buttons, scroll to the sensor, press and hold set until the default sensor code appears. Simply remove the sensor from the tire valve and replace it with a new one. The new sensor code will appear on the monitor. Once all sensors have been replaced, press and hold code to return to the running mode. Allow up to 5 minutes for all new information to be transmitted to the monitor. While running, if an alarm should sound, you will receive both a visual along with an audio alarm indicating that there is a problem. The monitor will show you exactly what the problem is along with the corresponding tire. To silence the alarm, simply press any button on the monitor. You will continue to receive a visual alarm until the problem has been resolved. If you should happen to want to use your tow vehicle and leave your trailer behind, to drop your trailer simply press the link and minus button at the same time to drop your trailer. To pick the trailer back up, simply hit the link and plus button at the same time. All sensors should reappear on your monitor.
After approximately 10 to 15 minutes of no movement, the monitor will go to sleep. Any movement, such as returning to your vehicle, will awake the monitor. While in sleep mode, the monitor will still be receiving updated information from the sensors. Once the monitor is awake, you will receive updated pressures and temperatures in real time. Thank you for watching. All of our products and information can be found at our website.